What's up, YouTube? This is Winston Smith back again with another commentary. Today I'm commenting on Kodak Black. There's more legal drama. Yes, he already got sentenced to 46 months in jail, but now prosecutors are back with more charges, not even a day later. You can see where they really got mad that they didn't get the full 10 years. They got 46 months. The 10 years have been 120 months. But then now, they're back with two 30-year charges against them. So they're trying to send them to jail for the football numbers. Okay, so it's not just a 30-year charge. It's two different 30-year charges. I'm going to break down how they got the 30-year charges. This is them stacking the charges against Kodak Black. Now, it stems from two separate incidents. We already know on two separate occasions, he purchased weapons, right? In January and then in, later on in May. But what they're doing now with the, with the technicality, because he, pressed, he checked the no box that said, that is he under a current um, indictment anywhere else in the country? He said no. Where well, there's an open case against him for rape. So he's because he checked no, that means he lied on the application and then he be in, in order to get the firearms. So because of this, that's the reason why he got sentenced to 46 months. Because the second time, he basically gave his real social and then they were able to find that he purchased the guns illegally the first time. And then they found guns that were at crime scenes. Now, that's later. They're going to try and hold that over his head. But it's not looking good for him. And even, I quote, this is what the lawyer said. This is what happens when the government feels like they lost when a young man gets 46 months for filing a false document. So he filed a false document and got 46 months. So that's how they get you in the system. So the only thing I want to do is get you locked in jail on something, which I said in my last tape, in my last video. So that when they bring you out on all the other current charges now, you don't have any money to defend yourself. You can't afford a lawyer. So that means they're taking away, it's, a, it's almost like like America when they go to war. They're not going to come in with ground forces. They're going to bomb, 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 bomb from long range. Run this person a button all the way over there in California, sending a bomb all the way over there to wherever the hell you are. Just bomb, 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 bomb. A barrage of bombs. And when you're bombed out, then they come in. Right? That's that's his American tactic. And it always works because nobody's going to... Because America got the money just to bomb. So, so it's the federal government. So the federal government, so they have the money just to come in with... To come and get you on something and there's lob charges at you all day and, until they get you on something else. And then that's how they stack the charges just to get you behind bars because they know if he can travel, he can make money and he can afford a defense attorney to defend himself. Same with Meek Mill. Meek Mill was the, 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 that particular judge, she said that he can't travel outside of Philly. Okay, so he kept him, localized him to Philly. And if he had gone anywhere outside that particular province, then it was like, oh, we're going to violate your probation. So it's to get you locked in the system to where you can't make money to defend yourself. So that now he's in the system behind bars. He can't make money to defend himself. He can't drop any music. If he does drop music, he can't go out there to perform. All right, so let's get to it. The two new charges that they're trying to charge him with, that's going to be 30 years each, stems from the fact that he was a juvenile offender. Okay, so if you're a juvenile, juvenile offender in Florida, you cannot purchase guns of, un, until you're the age of 24. When Kodak Black went, because he's 22 right now, so legally, he's not supposed to have any guns. Okay, so for the fact that he's legally not supposed to have any guns until 24, when he went the first time and he checked no and he gave the false social security, that right there, my friends, is 30 years because he was a juvenile offender, right? So that's how they stack the charges. So right now, if he wasn't juvenile for 46 months, so he did, still did, he still, for checking no, is 46 months. If we try to lie on the application for the purpose of purchasing guns, then that's 46 months. If you actually purchase the guns with the lie on the application now because they stack in the charges and it's called that black and they lost the first time 30 years in jail for the first time you purchased in January and another 30 years in jail for the second time you purchased the guns. You see? You see how they're doing it? So they, they're using technicalities now to say, well, because, I mean, common sense, if I check no and I just miss a number on my social, Okay, you can say it's a common, it's an accident. You go through and you get your gun. 30 years in jail. So that's what they're trying to say. Now, meanwhile, with actress Felicity Huffman, remember the college cheating scandal? Uh, um, Lori Lachlan, remember Aunt Becky? She faces 45 years in jail, but do you think she's going to do any of that time? No. 
Let me give you uh, let me see. Felicity Huffman. This she she was another famous uh, star from back in the day. Um, she was supposed to serve. Yeah, she was supposed to serve what? A year. Wait, wait. Felicity Huffman. She got a thirteen day sentence. You see, this is bribery charges, right? This is this is conspiracy, right? So this is this is the college students got is one big conspiracy. And my conspiracy is committing a federal crime when you have when there is an agreement between two or more people, that's me and somebody else, to commit a crime. Okay, we have an agreement to commit a crime. Okay, fine. And at least one of those people, I'm Felicity Hosman, make an act to further makes an overt act to further that crime. Okay, so if you make an overt act to further that crime, so we have a, cons we have a, uh, basically you can say, I just want you to get my child into college. Help me out. Okay, help me out. What am I going to get out of it? Okay, I'll give you $15,000. That's an overt act. I took money out of my account, gave it to you, you know, to get my child into college. Wow. You understand? That's conspiracy. Why is she, why didn't she get conspiracy charges? Why well, only thing she got was 13 days. She didn't even serve out her full 13 day sentence. You see what I'm saying? So not only did she mark it, because if you're basically trying to go and apply for the college applications and everything, they ask you questions like that. Do you know anybody at this college? You, she lied. 13 day. They apply this when they want. You see? You see, so they apply it when they want. So they didn't get him on the 10 years. So now they're now they mad. Now they're just trying to throw charges at him because he got him in jail. He's not performing. So then now he's just sitting there with charge after charge after charge coming in. And his defense attorney, I mean, he can't get the expensive to defense attorneys. He has to get people on pro bono. So it's just basically looking bad for Kodak Black.